Alexa, tell me a Chuck Norris joke. Mr. T pities the fool. Chuck Norris pities Mr. T. Hey, Rebecca, get out there and do some exercises. And by the way, you're an awesome friend. Hey, everybody, Rebecca here. And this week I've been looking at what I think are unique gift ideas, especially for people that love uh, tech gadgets. And, and these have been around for a long time, but I still think anything in the Amazon Echo, uh, any of these Echo devices are, are great gifts. And um, they, they've got a whole bunch of different versions of them. And so the, uh, I've had my eye on this Echo um, Show, the 15, Echo Show 15, which would be a neat, just, um, just to wall mount that as a display. Um, but now, I don't know if you've heard, it does support Fire TV is built in. So that was, is a very cool addition to this Echo Fire, um, Echo Show 15. But anyway, they still sell some of these older Echo devices, which you can still have a lot of fun with. So even if you just keep it simple and get your jokes of the day, or you set off reminders and routines, um, timers, then uh, most anybody can, can benefit from one of these Echo devices. But today I'm going to show you a little bit more advanced features. Um, the routines inside of Alexa allow you to do multiple things and kind of stitch them together and have one thing trigger it. And so you can you can trigger those routines with many different things, uh, just your voice or a certain time of the day. But I'm also going to show you in this video how to trigger it with a Python script. Um, and so that gives us a lot of uh, different flexibilities on how to have things in your smart home actually trigger an Alexa routine. So stick around. So to create an Alexa routine, you would use your app. And from the home screen down in the bottom right, you can go to more to routines. And you may have some in there already. If not, though, you can go in and create a new one. And it's fairly straightforward. I'll just show you some of these initial screens. How do you, so basically just three, three things is what it needs. You give the routine a name and then how do you want to trigger it? And then what do you want it to do? So let me just show you real quick here this, how do you trigger it? And these are all the different methods. So you can use your voice and you can give it your own phrase of what's going to trigger it, or you can set it up to a schedule or uh, all these different options in here. And so today I'm going to be focusing on, on the smart home option because ultimately the way this is going to work is Python is going to trigger what Amazon thinks is a doorbell. And it's actually just a virtual door, doorbell, but whenever we activate a website that represents that virtual doorbell, then that's going to trigger our routine. So this will make sense. I did something very similar with an NFC tag in a previous video, but instead of having the NFC tag trigger the website, we're going to have Python trigger the website. And if any of you watched that video, I do have an update to that. We no longer actually have to open the website, uh, which is very cool. So, so anyway, so we're going to um, have have a virtual doorbell start our routine, but just just know you have lots of options there. Um, and then as far as well, what can a routine do? Well, a routine can do any one or more of these actions, and then you can put them in order. So in other words, you can you can turn things on and off in your smart home. You can have Alexa say something. You could have her log something. Uh, let's see, since I just said the word, she's listening to me. <laughs> um, but a lot of different options in here. And again, many of these I've, I haven't explored, but tons and tons of different options for what these actions can be. All right, so let me just show you the one that I started the video with um, just to help encourage me to get out and do my daily exercises. I have set up this routine that's basically just just uh, doing a voice thing. So whenever it senses that the virtual doorbell has been pressed, so it's, it's watching for that anytime, and anytime that happens, then Alexa is going to say, uh, the, the dot is going to say two things to me. And so I was able to type out this phrase. And so this phrase could be anything that you want. Um, and she does a great job at just reading 
Eng reading your English phrase there. And then I have also added another uh, phrase that they had built in. There's a whole list of these random compliments. You can, you can give yourself compliments, which is always great. Um, and they, they had all kinds of built-in phrases. So if it's morning time, evening, whatever, they have a lot of built-in phrases. And so this one is going to pick from a list of like eight different um, phrases. It will just pick one random each time. All right, so that's all you have to do on the Alexa part of it. Um, now what I'm going to do is go show you the Python script. Well, I think the next thing, I'm going to show you this, the website where we're using the software to trigger the virtual doorbell. So again, the trick to this is getting software to act like a virtual doorbell. And so there's this company called virtualsmarthome.xyz, and they have created this software. And I've talked about this uh, previously again, but I do want to show you they have got a really cool update to this. Um, I'm using this URL routine trigger, and I've already got a login. So I'm not going to show you everything on the screen here because it's, it's our specific website that we would go to to trigger our routines. But I do want you to notice here they've got an update. It says now you can, um, actually it's the second new. There is now a simplified response uh, response for smartphones. You can use it, for instance, when triggering with your NFC tags or shortcuts on your iPhone. And so many of you had said, well, I don't want it to open the web page. I just want it to trigger um the routine and so now there's a way to do that you, we don't have to worry about getting any feedback at all it's just going to trigger that routine for us and so you'll notice um let me just uh scroll down i've got three different triggers set up and so there's a unique piece of information of these websites that i would use and so now this is brand new it, you can do this html version of it and then that way it does not open a web page for you so very very cool go check out this this website all right so once you have that virtual uh, software set up you go back to your alexa app and then configure your doorbell and i did that in a previous email all right, and so then the next step is I'm going to show you the Python script that will execute that virtual doorbell. All right, so here I am on my phone and in an app called Termux, T-E-R-M-U-X, and you'll be able to at least get an idea of this Python script that uh, I have used. And so we're going in and importing the requests Actually, no, I commented that line out. So it starts it starts there at that URL LIB. I went with that module instead. And so from the URL LIB dot requests, we're importing request and URL open. Keep in mind that Python is case sensitive. So um, just, just keep that in mind if you have different syntax errors whenever you're first getting used to Python. But so this syntax, once you find a good example online, Really, all you're doing is you're opening a web address, and Python can do that very easily. Python is so versatile, it can do so many things for us, and we tend to use it a lot for what we call web scraping, where it can go out and grab information off of the internet and pull it back down for you. You can insert it into databases or your applications or wherever. And so anyway, Python has got a lot of different ways of calling web addresses. And so this virtual trigger, it looks like a doorbell. I, all you have to do is, is activate the web page. And so this URL, again, you're not going to be able to see that whole line there. But that URL, I just copied and pasted from the virtualsmarthome.xyz um, web page. And, um, and that's it. So as I, <laughs> sorry for all the jiggling there, but it gives you an idea of the exact Python syntax. Now, again, I'm doing this in a um, app called Termix so that Tasker can execute this. And so I have this set up on my phone every day at five o'clock. Um, it's going to execute my reminder to get out and exercise. If I um, Later, I'm going to set up a, an NFC tag. So if I haven't exercised yet that day, then every day at five o'clock, it will check to see and then remind me if I haven't. Um, so I'm getting there. You'll see another NFC um, video later for that. But as of right now, it's running successfully every weekday at 5 p.m. It's telling me to go out and exercise. 
Um, so really, really cool. We can use all different methods to be able to trigger Amazon Alexa routines. So very, very cool. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll try to help you out. But otherwise, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Thanks.